Hi everyone, and welcome to another video on Solid Shell Security and VPNs. What we are going to do is we are going to now install a PPP uh, VPN. So first of all, we're going to make sure we install the package we need. Make sure we install the PPP here. Um, typically, this is a, an older VPN process uh, service. So it's not exactly all that recent. I'm going to go ahead and cd into um, and download this first. Uh, we're just going to grab this from SWSF right there. Grab that real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and install it. And there we go. All right. So now we've got PPP TBD installed real quick. And we're going to edit the actually real quick I want to make sure I do this real quick so we can actually look at the IPs here um, as you can tell we've got the two IPs that we're going to need right here when we edit this file which is under etc pptpd.config and here we go what we want to do is we want to put in a local IP and remote IP. All right, now local IP is going to be like the main one in the connection, and the remote IP is going to be the the one that's going to be end up being used by the client. So, oops. All right, let's go back up here. Go ahead and copy this one, paste it, paste the other one. That's a seven there. So that's adding that. Then we're going to save this. Just like that. Now we're going to edit uh, etc pp. So many p's here. It's like so difficult to keep it up. It's like uh. Okay. So now we're going to add the option files. Okay. We want to make sure we have MS Chap version two and MPPE one twenty eight. Uh, we're going to go down here and look for the MS. Uh, DNS right here, and we're going to set this to 888. Now you can use any DNS servers that you want. Um, you can use so much whatever your data system. You can use your own. It, it's just whatever you want. You just, just whatever you have as long as it's the DNS server that's valid and it works. So we're going to exit that. Now we're going to set up the actual user, and the user is going to be kept locally under uh, chap secrets okay so what it is was basically um we're gonna call VPN user this is the client space server which was the name under the options file at the top as you could tell that we had that such so that then we do space again and we want to put in the password, which will basically just say, you know, um, VPN pass, space it again, and just say any IP address, X out of that, done. Now we've already gone through and set up the IP forwarding under etc sys ctla config. Oops, oops. And the vim on that one, and as you can tell, I've already done that one. If you've not, go ahead and set that, and then just do a sysctl p. Oops, actually dash p there. And if you get errors like that, just means the kernel is not set up to configure and use them, so it's not like it's anything bad or anything like that. So it's fine. And once we've done that, we need to set the IP tables. So IP tables. Dash t nat a post routing out. Now, because we are using OpenVZ, we need to set um, the VN here. Makes that it says that, and we want to make that one. Set the out there j m a s q all right. Okay. 
Uh, obviously we don't have the correct uh, module installed and uh, this is actually OpenVZ and we don't actually have it installed on this system so we won't be able to continue because the, the host is going to have to actually install the correct uh, IP modules so we're not going to be able to do anything but once you do that just do an IP table save restart and also we want to bring up the service and then ch config since we're on Red Hat PPTPD on so when we reboot it, it comes back up so that's it that's really all there is to it um, now PPTP does in fact work on OpenVZ we had it working on OpenVZ just fine there's no issues with it so you just have to make sure you have those uh, modules installed which you can't manually do on OpenVZ so the host has to go through and do it and we'll post the entire list of what has to be enabled on the blog so just click link below it will take you right to it all and all that but once you've got that you've got open you get the PPTP installed and I have to just go down here we've always set these up but you basically would go properties you put the IP in uh, set PPTPD then you'd hit OK and bring up the interface here but I think because you've got it already there, there you go you type in whatever type the password to connect and you're going to connect in just fine it works like OpenVPN except you don't have, to have a, a certificate or anything like that you just type in the, the username and password which works with a lot of legacy devices older devices pretty much everything supports PPTP it's not the most secure but everything supports it pretty much so it's pretty easy now if you want to know how to set up you just basically go to my control panel here no internet no sharing um, and once you're in, I do is go to the set up a new connection. You want to basically click next, create a new connection, connect to VPN. You basically just type it in, type in, you know, pretty much the IP address, next, type in username, password, all that, and then just connect. So it's very simple to set up a PPTP connection. So really, that's all there is to it. Uh, you just have to make sure you get the correct IP tables modules installed and stuff so you can actually do this. Configure the IP tables, save it, and it's good to go. So there's really like nothing to it. It's very, very easy. So that concludes this video on VPNs and using PPTP. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Stay up to date. We've got more stuff coming. We like followers we like people keeping tabs on us because we got cool stuff coming so that's about it good night everyone thanks for watching